Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to be a long no-buy. And today is my second day in my neglected or f forgotten Colourpop palettes. I have some different themes on my channel and this week I am going to use Colourpop palettes that I haven't used that much or that I haven't used for a long time. And today it is time for... Uh, one of the Star Wars palettes, the Star Wars Mandalorian, the Child palette, with this little Gorgo? Gor? Ah, I don't know his name. The palette looks like this, and I wasn't like super impressed by this palette the first time, I have only used it once. But yeah, I'm guessing I'm just going to do a look, and I'm thinking of doing try to do a whole a green look today actually so i guess i'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started and we will see where this look will go so i think i will like concentrate in this area of the palette and maybe a little bit up here i am <laughs> not like 100 sure but i will start with baby face and maybe a little frog in my crease and we will see where we go from there and star wars i am not a star wars fan but i am not a star wars fan i have seen well the original movies so one two six but like nothing more than that sci-fi and that kind of stuff isn't my favorite when it comes to movies and not tv shows either so it has never been like my thing but uh, yeah i have nothing against star wars but i am not do star wars uh, fans have a uh, own name because is it like Star Trek or called Trekkies? I don't know, like, as I said, sci-fi and stuff like that has never been. Do even, um, I, I guess that Star Wars counts as a sci-fi movie. Maybe I shouldn't say anything about it because right now we are watching X-Files and I guess that that is a sci-fi TV show. Or is it uh, crime? This was really, really, really light. It works like I can build it up, but I have no idea how this will look on a deeper skin than mine. But like, yeah, it's really, really light. But it works, I guess, because it still looks bright even though I packed it on. So I was planning to do a half cut crease but I actually think that I will do a halo now instead. So I will try with this little frog and see how deep it will be and then I will go in with sipping soup. And this has some shimmer to it but I guess it's this kind of shimmer that you like. Okay you can see a little bit of it. Okay this is a little bit more mossy. So my crease is a really happy little crease, but this one I would say it's not a happy little color. So I guess it's working. It though is a really nice shade. I like the shade of this. And I am not doing this like in any... I'm not being that careful as you might see. Because I think I'm, I've start to like not be that precise when I'm putting on the colors that I'm having on the edge, like the inner and outer corner when I'm doing a halo, and just cut the halo real good instead and making the halo that way. It's easier. It's a little bit faster and yeah. I think it works as good because I'm not doing like halo eyes that are super different. Okay, I have longer hair everywhere that I don't know where it's belonging. And it had some shimmer specks this shade. 
I don't know if my camera can pick it up. I don't know if you can see it maybe there. And this one that it is, it has some shimmer specs to it. And I always think it's so hard with these. Like I never know how much you actually will see. So I think I will do a kind of a big halo. So I'm taking my NYX glitter primer. This is my absolute favorite when it comes to halos and everything. Like I want to cut something because I think it's so easy to work with. And I have tried with like concealers that I know that some people do like but I do not like it not at all. This brush though was just a little bit too big. But I think I will try to clean my brushes off today. And then I'm going in with this green shimmer and maybe these are like super similar. Okay, this halo became so so big and then I actually want to take this I don't know if I want to take precious cargo this lighter one or this one just put I think I will take this one precious cargo this has a little bit of a gold sheen to it and just tap it in the middle of this halo and if you haven't seen me doing a halo for a while this is apparently my new thing when it comes to a halo I have always been the person that hates to use my fingers like for everything when it comes to eyeshadow but like putting something on in the middle of a halo I do really like that and I do like this it's a kind of toned down halo but like not everything has to be over the top all the time see i do like it so i guess i i can fix this off cam so you don't need to see me cut another halo so i will fix that put on my base and just finish this makeup off and then i come back with the finished look with a little the child palette this is the finished look for my face. I did use my contour stick from Isadora, my blush from Colourpop in Cool It, and Ozone from Nabla. On my waterline, I did use Colourpop Extra Frosting, and on my lips, I use Riptide from Lethal. And and I do like this look. I think it is a good green halo like it's not super green but yeah I, I just like it and I did use four colors so precious cargo sipping soup baby face and little frog I can leave my first impression down in the description then I used I did a darker look with this shimmer the force I think it was and yeah, I do like this look, but I think like, yeah, I guess I will keep this palette. I don't know though, because this, I have talked about this before. I think it's so hard like to think back now if, because I'm in my like no buy mode, because I have had my no buy for this whole year so far. It's really hard to know like, do I recommend this palette? But I do think this is... It's a good palette from Colourpop. I don't think though it is like a super fun palette. I don't think that is like super special. I have used it twice and I like both of the looks that I've done. And I think that they are good. And it's a good Colourpop formula. But maybe it's nothing that I'm like super eager to use. And... Uh, I don't know, but, but I, I like the color story. Maybe I think that some of the colors are a little bit like similar. So yeah, 
I don't know, but I have nothing against it, and I like this format on Colourpop's palettes. Like, I like their 9 pen palettes, but I more like the cardboard, because I do... It's one of the persons that hate plastic packaging, I just think it's... It feels like I'm going to break the palette, so I like the packaging, and like, I don't feel anything special about this little... It's not Baby Yoda. I know that he is not the Baby Yoda, but I can't remember his name. I guess some of you will tell me, but it's something like Gorko? 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 I, I don't know. And I think like I would have bought this. The Mandalorian theme didn't make me buy it. Because I don't have any special feelings about him or uh, this Star Wars overall. But yeah, that is uh, this video for this second Colourpop video and it's going to be so far. Like now I'm looking forward to this week. Okay, I did it before, but two looks in and two looks that I've been really liking. So I hope that you like this video as well. I hope that you like that I'm doing a Colourpop week. It feels like I haven't used that much Colourpop. I did one... Uh, in my first Halloween week I used the whatever palette, but other than that I haven't like used Colourpop that much, so I hope that you like this and I guess that some of you do have this palette at home. I don't think it's available. I don't know. I haven't been at Colourpop site for like the whole year. So yeah, I do hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!